Hi guys, this is just a very quick video. Um, I've found out who this John McAfee dickhead is, and um, please don't f please don't fall for his tricks. Okay, I've taught you guys about media manipulation and how the media always comes right at the um, top of way five. Yeah, so um, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, they keep on taking down my fucking videos, these bastards, on uh, YouTube. So I can't really help that. Um, so basically, but I can teach you this. So um, this is obviously the impulsive sequence. So here, there's a lot of fear. Then it moves up, comes back down again. Here, there's a lot of fear as well. This is the public participation move. A lot of high volume, a lot of nice green candles as you're getting here. This is a bit of a retracement. And in wave five, and as we know in in uh, cryptocurrencies, you get these extended wave fives. This is when the media jumps in, and this dickhead. Blah 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 blah, talking nonsense. I have no idea what he's on about here. Twenty um, third of December, five seven a.m. So do you see how that coincides with the peak in Digibyte? Because that caused the public, um, unfortunately, you know, people who are manipulated um, sheep really, who jumped in on the twenty third, and that has since been the high in Digibyte. So whenever you see this dickhead start talking, um, rather than looking to buy, you should be looking to sell. And as we all know, this is a doji candle isn't it so as the public rushed in um, smart people the ones who listen to my videos who bought down here when I told them to and who have also made so look at my last video made a good bajillion my god you guys made a killing on that um, they they are actually selling uh, to the public okay hence you get this doji candle so um, just stay away from this man um, He's not a nice person. So yeah, that's that's just how it works. So so now Digibyte, uh, just very quickly, I mean, I'll have to do some more work on this chart. This buy in the dips, I mean, I've had this ever since the last video, so I'll just um, leave that there. Um, so that's that's just what Digibyte is doing. So it's probably made its five waves up, to be honest. I mean, it's probably made, oops, I've moved this line, move that line to there. So it's it's probably made its five waves up. Um, as you all know, it's five waves, then an ABC. Now it's jumped into a five wave ABC. But just just be very very mindful of this this idiot when he starts talking. Um, so 23rd of December. I mean, this is 5:07. So I mean, what's that? 5:07. What's that? My time is that? Uh, that must be Eastern time. I think it's Eastern. It must be Eastern. Uh, yeah, New York is 4:49 right now, so it's five hours. So that would be, that would be 12:07 my time. Um, as you can see, this this clock is set to London time. So do you see how 12 o'clock? So do you see how the minute he speaks or releases his tweet, unfortunately, people have bought in onto his tweet, and rather than buying that, you should be selling that. And the minute he released his tweet, coincided with the high. So um, you know. Those of you who have been watching my videos from the start, you understand that um, the media is just there to manipulate you. So, um, and anyone who bought in here, they're they're now crapping it really, because they've now lost. Well, they've not lost anything until they press sell, but you know they're in, in a negative, you know, twenty nine, thirty percent position. Um, as for what Digibyte is doing, obviously it's in a corrective mode. It's made its five waves up, hasn't it? So I would just wait on Digibyte. Um, you know, if you bought in here. Obviously, you know, you're in a, in a negative position. But those of you who would have taken this tweet as a time to sell rather than buy, you've made a good gains. And I wouldn't get too greedy with this. I would just hold on. It's probably setting up at some point soon. Um, so yeah, that was your wave. That was your wave. Um, you know, your first wave. That was your ABC. It's now probably made its made its five waves up. So I'll have to do more work on this to figure out when the best point to get back in is. But um, just wanted to show you um, how his tweet, and I'm sure we could break this this down even more. Let's just go on the 30 minute, just out of interest. Um, <laughs> yeah, this would be um, this would be funny if it wasn't so evil. Um, so he released his tweet. Yeah, I mean he released his tweet at basically my time, so sort of 12 one o'clock, and that coincided with the peak. So um, God, you just gotta love it. Um, but then again, I mean, I used to fall for these games. One of the Financial Times. I used to read the Financial Times. That's the manuscript for failure. Um, 
Got that from Anton Creel once again. The only person you listen to on YouTube when it comes to trading is Anton Creel. Um, and he used to work for Goldman Sachs, by the way, as well as for JP Morgan. So um, he knows what he's talking about. So if you haven't watched that video, um, the video that changed my life, make sure you do watch it. Um, I'm sure they've not taken that one down because they can't probably because his lawyers are too good. Um, although they 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 try to take a lot a lot of his videos down as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So if you just pull up a simple retracement, um, you know, did did you buy it just in a retracement? It's not doing much. Um, if you guys are buying, you bought down here. Hopefully, you guys would have taken regular profits on the way up. Um, it's hit the 50. Whether it'll get down to the 1.618 to the 0.618, I'm not sure. Um, but it looks as though it's still correcting. And at any point, it could get ready to make its move up. So what 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 we're looking for on a shorter term time frame is a bit of impulsive action. Um, so let me just take this off. So that that's the 50. Uh, that's his 618 over here so um, I mean the main reason for this video was just to show you um, about this McAfee really but um, uh, so yeah ABC pattern B A that doesn't look very impulsive does it it's gonna come back down um, you know you could pull up some fibs if you wanted to um, Yeah, hit hit the seventy uh, seventy six point four. So one to one correlation would be here, not point not four five. Um, so that could be a good time to get back into Digibyte um, potentially. Assuming there's correlation between this A wave and this B, and then this is all just a complex uh, C wave. Um, so it looks as though Digibyte has got a little bit lower to go, but not much. Um, you could argue if you've never been involved in Digibyte or you're looking to get back in, um, you're definitely getting a, a good discount here because you're getting, you know, you're getting a good 42% discount from the McAfee high. Um, and as we all know, just to show you a simple rule of maths, and I'm, I'm sure you guys know this, 42% um, down is not the same as 42% up. So 42% down equals 76% up. That's just um, math so you can blame Einstein for that um, so all, you always make more on the way up than you do on the way down that's why shorting never works and you never short a bull market anyway I've told you guys that but um, so if you guys are looking to get into Digibyte maybe start an initial position here okay you can never be perfect but I'm interested in Digibyte certainly at these levels I would start maybe 10% of your overall position it's probably going to go a little bit lower but just in case it just randomly start impulsing up at least you've you've got in um, then if it gets down to here I'm getting very interested because that's one-to-one -one correlation between these waves and um, just to show you the percentages once again if you buy here you're buying at a 52% discount but then on the way up we know that's closer to 100% 110% on the way up so that's why you don't short because the most amount of money you can ever make short in is 99.99% and technically the, the most amount you can lose is infinity however uh, going long any market the most you can make is infinity but the most you can lose is assuming you're not leveraged is your initial position so that's why shorting's um really bad but I'm sure you guys knew, knew this anyway but just just for you guys who are beginners um, you always make up you always make uh, you always uh, make more on the way up than you do on the way down so the only way shorter never makes anyone any money is because of futures contracts. That's why uh, Bitcoin futures came out. So they make not 50%, they make 5,000% on the way down. As they did on Bitcoin from 20,000 to, to, to 10,000. But anyway, that, that was just, that's just Digibyte. Um, so yeah, I suppose you could start a very, very small position if you wanted to. If you wanted to be perfect, certainly get, when it gets to 0 0.046 Satoshis, whatever, um, it's looking interesting. Um, it's looking interesting. A, B, C. Let's just do another A, B, C on this. Yeah, bit of one to one there as well. Bit of one to one. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's just um, pull up to the four hourly. Um, where's that retracement gone? Um, Yeah, so you guys have done really well on Virgin, did you buy? Um, and even BitShares. Um, so, uh, good luck to you guys. 
So this is the initial retracement of the entire leg. Um, yeah, okay, so the 50 is here, the 1 to 1 correlation is here, and the 0 0.618 is here. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's looking interesting. If you wanted to take an initial position, I suppose you could. Personally, I would probably wait now, looking at this, I'd probably wait till it gets to about here, and then there's your 1 to 1 correlations, and there's your 61.8. So, certainly anything around this, um, this when Digibyte gets to around here, please do email me when it when it gets to around here, uh, so I can have a relook at the chart. So um, there's not much much longer to go in Digibyte, to be honest. Um, another I don't know, 15% down, another 20% down or so. But then you're looking at a quite a good move up. So, but predicting these retracements are quite difficult on cryptocurrencies because everyone's so bullish. But um, yeah, I'd I'd will be interested at Digibyte. Um, around somewhere I mean I suppose you could take that all the way up if you wanted to so maybe start initial position here that's what I do I like buying on the way down um, and um, that's just what I do and then as it starts to confirm I add to my position on the way up um, because I like to get discounted prices and I've been watching Digibuy ever since this dickhead started talking so it's just fascinating isn't it how he talks right at the time when it reaches its, its high so um, stay away from this evil bastard um, so yeah that's that's Digibyte it's getting interesting as I said if it starts to get somewhere between these two fibs just email me or whatever just let me know in the comments um, and I'll have a look at the chart but then it's gonna get ready to go higher again so um, yeah that's uh, Digibyte so I'll leave those two targets on just for myself as well um, but as I said, you can never be 100%. So if you wanted to take an initial position, you could. If not, just wait till it gets to the 50 fib. And then certainly anything around in this sort of box, um, I'd be interested. Just look on the 15 minute very quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's just trending down, isn't it? None of that looks impulsive. So it is probably going to get to here and then definitely here. And then what we're looking for is a big volume volume sort of candle top to confirm as you can see the volume is just petering out the volume just being a little bitch down here so um, no no this is just petering out but um, usually when volume starts to peter out that's usually a good time to sort of slowly start building a position sooner or later we're going to get a nice green candle here that's going to help to confirm the move so um, yeah hopefully the digibyte will be a good buy I mean you're definitely buying at good prices here so um, you know, you're getting a good 40% discount, and as I said, 40% on the way down is is 70% um, on the way up. So that's why you're never short. So um, anyway, that's the Digibyte. Um, stay away from this man, please. Um, he's part of the crew. He's part of the Wall Street crew who are here to um, take your money. Uh, so yeah, Digibyte has done really well. So good luck to you guys. Um, hopefully, I'll make a good retracement. Right now it's making a bit of a doji candle here on the daily, which is interesting. Um, has it reached this low yet? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait for this to be confirmed. So, as I said, because you can never be 100%, you might want to start building an initial position, maybe 10, 15%, just so you don't miss the move. Because um, then your APOE, your average point of entry, is going to be low. But if not, maybe wait a few more days. But around these sort of numbers, I'll be very, very interested. Um, but anyway, I'll leave that leave that with you. Um, stay away from the, this fucker. Catch you guys soon.